Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be showing you how to make a simple splash screen or a logo screen or something that happens when you start a game and you see company logos just fade in and fade out really simply. Now this is something fairly simple to do. All I've got is a my speed shooter logo. What I'm going to do is it's a PNG, and if you haven't already, it comes in as a texture, so you want to make it a sprite, a 2D or a um, UI image. You can compress the max size if you want, but I'll leave it at 2K just for the sake of this. And then we'll get the UI graphic with the um, transparency in the background. What we can do is we can get rid of directional light because we don't need it. We only need a main camera for this. What we can also do is actually get rid of the skybox because we don't want that. So we can just go to the lighting. If not, you can go Windows Lighting and click on the... Um, plus box by the skybox and just click none and then we won't get a skybox in this scene because this is going to be a really light scene and you want to set your camera um, background to whatever you want usually you'd set it to black so in the game view we actually get a nice black background then what we can do is we can go game object UI and then we can just go image so now we've got an image in our scene we can go to a 2d view and then I can select the image, press F in the scene view, and you can see that if I just zoom out a little bit, we get the image that we want. So we can then center this, so we can do the X and the Y position of 0, 0. The Z position can be 0 also. You will see in the game view, it will be directly centered now. Now what you can do in the image, you can add your whatever your logo is. I'll add it to the very center. And what I might do is I might set this to 256 by 256 for the sake of this example. So that's it, it's all nicely positioned. If we press play, it does nothing. It's just pretty much a static image just sitting there. So we need it to be able to fade in and out. So all we need to do is we need to actually create a script. So we'll go create C sharp and we'll call this splash fade can be anything really but we'll just have it as that for now we'll open up in whatever program you've got to edit the code and we'll start off by we'll get rid of the first two sort of starting methods we've got so before we start we need to use a couple of um, references at the top so we need to because we're going to be using the UI components and we're going to be using scene management so we're going to be moving scenes so we need to write the top using unity engine dot ui with a semicolon and using unity engine dot scene management with a semicolon then from there we're going to be referencing a couple of we're going to be um, declaring a couple of variables so we're going to say that this is public image and we'll call this splash image with a semicolon then we'll have another public variable and we'll name this string and call it load level. So all we're doing is we're saying we're looking for a public image and image is part of the Unity 5 UI and we give it a name of splash image and we're going to have a string for what level we're going to load next. Then normally you'd write a void start to um, deal with things but because we're going to use a coroutine which is going to be for sort of waiting a certain amount of time before we move the next scene we're going to need to use I start by writing I enumerator, which allows us to deal with coroutines within the method. So it's just the type that we're going to use. Then we can write start, which is pretty much just um, instead of using the void. Then we're going to have two curly brackets below. I'm going to say splash image dot canvas renderer dot set alpha in bracket 0, 0.0 f with a semicolon and I'll explain this as we're going along and if you see on our image inside our canvas don't mind the errors we've got a color and the color has an alpha so you can see that when I move this color to the side and I drop this alpha down you can see that it fades based on what the alpha is so we need to make sure for this particular um, thing we need to make sure that alpha is or the transparency is 100% so we can see it 
so in this case 255 because that's the solid value. Start may well have a little sort of red squiggle underneath but that's because we haven't written in the yield and weight in any time yet so don't worry about that. So first of all we're looking for the image so the splash image we're going to find the canvas renderer and we're going to set the alpha to zero so it's going to be completely invisible for as soon as we start the game. Then um, what we're going to do is we're going to have we're going to create a function called fade in with two brackets and a semicolon. Then we're going to have a yield return new weight for seconds. Open brackets and then 2.5f and then a semicolon on the end. Then we're going to have another function called fade out with two brackets and a semicolon. Then we're going to have pretty much another yield return new weight for seconds and then we'll set this to 2.5f with a semicolon and then what we want to do is do scene manager dot load scene upper brackets and then we'll say load level with a semicolon so I'll explain this so we're going to be calling a function then we're going to be using yield to wait 2.5 seconds and we need an F because it's a float value so that can take into decimal places then we're going to run the fade out and then we're going to wait uh, 2.5 seconds before we load the next scene so then below our two curly brackets for the whole uh, method for the start we're going to call this void fade in like we named above here then we'll have two curly brackets below that and then what I'll do is avoid fade out um, two brackets and two curly brackets below now within our fade we need to do something and with unity 5's UI it's added something new which we can take advantage of we'll say splash image dot cross fade alpha and then open brackets we have to put a float which is going to be the alpha value the duration and then whether it should ignore time scale and it says that it's between the alpha value of the canvas render color associated with a graphic so what we need to do at first we want to say that because when we start the alpha is zero so it's completely transparent so we don't even see it we need the alpha to then be equal to one which is full which is 100 percent then we'll put a comma and we want to wait maybe 1.5 seconds before it gets to full um, 100 percent then we'll put in brackets false and then we'll put a semicolon on the end so what this will do is it'll just fade the alpha from nothing to so from zero to 100 percent over the case of 1.5 seconds and then in the fade we'll do exactly the same thing we'll copy that line paste it in and but this time because the alpha is set to a full 100% we'll then set it to zero we can say 0, 0.0f which is it's going to be invisible again and we're going to have that over the space of 2.5 seconds so based on what we're doing is that when we start we'll set the alpha to zero we'll call the fade in function so the fade in goes okay so we need to fade the alpha to one of 1.5 seconds so then once that's called straight away it will then wait 2.5 seconds before it does fade out so then we'll do fade out it'll start doing this and as soon as it started doing this we'll need to wait 2.5 seconds according to this one so we're just matching it so in the, in the instance of this, at the first one, when we're doing the fade in, 1.5 seconds here to fade all the way in, but we don't want the logo to start fading out instantly. We want it to stay on the screen for about a second. Well, you really can change it. So you could make that five seconds before then you do the fade out. It just, you can mess around with the values. So we do the fade out, wait 2.5 seconds while it does the 100% um, fade to zero, and then we'll load the new scene. So I'll save that out, go into back into Unity. What I can do is I can add this to the image or I could add this to the main camera for the sake of this. Add it to the main camera and say that the image that we're going to use is this one. And then we can load the next level, but we don't have anything in the, um, 
build settings to load so it won't do anything. Okay, so in our uh, build settings, what we can do is we can add splash and we can add level one. And splash has this on, level one has nothing. Then from there on our main camera, we can set this to level one based on what we've named, have put in the build settings. So on our splash screen, we expect when we play, it will fade in, wait a second, and then it will fade out and move to the next scene. And you get, you'll know it's another scene because everything's disappeared and it's just black. So all it was, was a really simple way of setting the alpha to zero, using um, a couple of functions and a couple of yields to wait a few seconds, then load the scene after everything's been done and the fade and the fade out, just use the crossfade alpha. Um, one being 100% zero being um, fully invisible or transparent and then whatever seconds you want to um, do the fade over. So that's just a simple way to do a splash screen and you could put another scene after which does exactly the same thing if you wanted multiple or you could add multiple um, scripts like this to the level to do multiple logos fading in and out. But Hopefully that helped you sort of achieve something really simple and make it look a little bit more professional. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.